I really love this one. This is really um, stepping up. <laughs> this steps the headband game up. Hi guys and welcome back to Heidi's house. If you don't already know me, I'm Heidi and this is my house, my bedroom to be specific. I am coming on today because I went on a little Walmart haul, not much, but I got a few things and I wanted to pick up a few cute things for my daughter and a few other things. The other thing I do is I kind of have like a treasure chest specifically for my daughter, but if I have any fosters in the house, um, I'm a foster parent, it, um, that would benefit from like a reward system or a treasure chest. So if there's a behavior I'm looking to target or I want to shape or correct, I put things in like like a, a little duffel or bag or a box or something like that. And then, you know, when they've done really well at the end of the day and they've achieved all their goals or something bigger towards the end of the week, they get to go to the treasure chest and either pick something out or close their eyes and pull something out. So I wanted to pick up a few things to add to that treasure chest. So some really cute stuff for mom and also the kiddos. Uh, so I wanted to share some of that stuff with you because Walmart, Walmart really has stepped their game up over the years. I really appreciate it. I know some people don't like to shop at Walmart and I'm a firm believer in you do you and I'll do me. And I just really like the being able to budget from shopping there. So let me show you some of the cute things that I got to add to the treasure chest um, for my daughter and um, also mom, me. I got a few things too. So, so the first thing I got are this is this cute little headband uh, by Wonder Nation and it comes with a little like plastic um, expandable choker that's it's safe for kids and my daughter loves to wear these she would wear them morning noon and night and it has um, it's wrapped in some kind of like ribbon it's like little cat ears with the flowers on them she wears them to school a lot she wears a uniform so she wears she wears this to kind of dress her uniform up and I believe Let's see, I think most of these were all the same price, but let me just check. This was $4.88, so adorable. So this goes in the little treasure box. The other one I got was this one. It's a cute little rose gold one with little pink and rose gold flowers. And this one also has a choker, rose gold choker. This is kind of like a faux leather um the back this one was also 488 so just cute little things to throw in a um reward box or treasure chest for a little girl or a little boy um the next thing i got um is was this four piece sparkle scrunchie set for her it's got like a little kitty and then a blue one, a white one, and a pink and silver one that if you brush, it changes the color. I'm not sure if any of these, this one is like pink, uh, a white and a iridescent metallic color. And this is like a blue, uh, um, like a baby blue and iridescent color so she will love them she's actually been asking for more um scrunchies and let's see just basic clips for when she wants to put her hair up in the shower my daughter has very thick curly ethnic hair so we are always looking to pin her hair up to not get it naughty and these really cool Body Ecology Kids color changing bath bombs that smell like watermelon, hypoallergenic fragrance, paraben, 
and Slada free, whatever that word is. Um, I don't have my glasses on, but they do smell good. My daughter's obsessed with bath bombs. So that'll be something really cool that she can pull out. And let me see if I can find the price on these. These were something like $3.97 or $4.50. I'm not sure they weren't expensive at all, but I will link it down below or put a picture somewhere on the screen so that you can see the price and the SKU number of it. These are really cute. I think that's it for, oh wait, one more thing. Two more things. I got her this, let's see, this cute little headband, kind of like the one I have on, which I'll talk about in a minute because I'm loving it. It's uh, kind of like somewhat a little bit of a tie dye. It has variations of color from purple and blue to pink. And I believe this was like $3.97. Sorry guys, I should have been better at highlighting on my sheet how much all these were, but this was kind of very impromptu. I'll, again, I'll put everything on the screen, on this screen for you. Uh, here it is, four seventy, one or the other, but I'll put it on the screen. And this cute, adorable dress as well, which will go in the um, bag, the treasure box bag. And this was $9.98. So adorable. And I figured the headband would match that so cute hopefully if she um, pulls that out prior to going away she can bring that on our vacation so that is everything that was in the treasure box and let's see what else I have so uh, for myself this is part of all of these I took off, but this is part of the Wild Primrose collection. And you guys, Scunchi, which has been around forever, I believe since I was a teenager, they came out with this version, this Wild Primrose. This stuff is so pretty. And I know headbands now are like all the rage and um, I never really got back into them. I felt like, oh, maybe I'm getting a little too old for that. Um, especially like going, we're going to the office. But today I dressed really casual at my office. I have a rich, a really long, um, it's like a really long, sort of like a maxi dress um, with a little denim, like a shoulder jacket on. And I thought this matched so cute. And I don't really think it looks too, um, juvenile. Um, I don't know. I break all the rules anyway when it comes to fashion. I do what makes me feel good. Um, although I am very considerate if I have new patients or clients coming in, I do try to wear a suit and look fairly um, playing the part. Um, but if my patients know me for years, then I'm just going to be me. But I thought this looked adorable. Uh, I'm not going to take it off. But this was um, $9.97, I believe. Uh, $9.97. And it doesn't go all the way around. It's like, I don't want to take it off because I don't want to ruin my hair. But um, So it's just like a regular headband. And it's kind of comfortable. I'm not used to headbands. So it is putting a little pressure on... The bottom behind my ears so I've adjusted it a couple times it's like a faux olive green army green like um snake I want to say do they do they say uh, I can't see anything you guys yeah it's like a fake you can see it a, a faux dark dark khaki olive green like snake print 
and it's got this faux knot on the top and just goes all the way down to the other side. And I really like it. So because one wasn't enough for me, uh, I got another one and this one was also $9.97. And look how beautiful this one is. This one is like very neutral, but uber fancy. It has pearls and little silver balls and these like, it's a clear, um, a white mesh. And then under the white mesh is like a tool with a beige edging and the beige knot on the top, little bow, and this, this side's the same. And you can kind of like adjust the ruffle to how you like it on your head. And there is the bottom. I'll try this on for you right now so you can kind of get an idea of how it looks. I'm going to have like headband head now, but that's okay. So you would have to adjust this to what you like. You could pull some hairs out on the side if you like. Or, and I thought this would be really nice for a night out um, with some, a black shirt, white jeans. Um, you could even wear this if you wear, um, you could put it back or more forward. I kind of like my more forward, but you could wear it like when your hair is in an updo and it looks more like a, a fancy like bandana. I really love this one. This is really um, stepping up. <laughs> this steps the headband game up and you could really, um, I don't know, I might even wear this in a performance in a church. I, I sing as well. I mean, you guys have seen some of my past videos, you know I have do a multitude of things, but I think I could get away like with a red dress in this. I don't know. This is really pretty. So this one was also, I think I already said $9.97. I, okay, so there was a couple other things that were more just household items, but worthy of wanting to discuss with you. So I got two um, bottles of Dr. Teal's body lotion that contain essential oils. One I got in coconut oil, the, uh, the coconut scent, and the other is in lavender. And both of them contain coconut butter, shea butter, vitamin E, coconut butter, shea butter, and vitamin E. Uh, soothing lavender, nourishing coconut oil. They smell divine. I mean, they, when they say they can tell, can, contain essential oils, they really mean it. The scent really is kind of like what you would smell out of a diffuser. So I got this one for myself because um, I love uh, the smell of lavender, especially, um, I usually spray uh, essential oil lavender in my office. It tends to calm some clients down. Um, it's good for aromatherapy. So I did use this this morning on my legs after I shaved when I got out of the shower and so far so good. I really like it and um, I wouldn't say it doesn't have like a lingering scent though. So after you put this on, the scent is not going to continue to last throughout the day. I think after you put it in, it just kind of like absorbs into your skin and it nourishes your skin, um, hydrates it, but that scent is not going to last. This one I got for my hubby and my kiddos. Um, my daughter's skin is extra, extra dry. I usually use Eucerine um, or... Um, What's the other brands I use? Cetaphil, um, the, mostly the ones that are recommended by the dermatologist, um, especially if I get any babies that come. Um, you know, it's all um, dermatology, you know, pedi pediatric approved. But my daughter's getting to the age now where she wants some like smelly stuff and she wants some like perfumey mommy stuff. So I got her and my husband this one because it was more of like, I don't know, like, gender neutral manly for my husband and you know my daughter loves swimming in the beach so I figured this would be good for them so we'll see how this does uh this won't be the main lotion that I would use on her if she has an eczema breakout or anything like that and 
Um, we'll see how the essential oil in here reacts with her skin. Coconut butter, shea butter, vitamin E are all fine, but so this is to be determined for eczema prone skin. I don't know, but so far for me, it's fine. Two other things I wanted to discuss is the CeraVe line of this facial sunscreen. Okay. I run, so I, I do jog, um, and I engage in like pretty heavy duty active, like Ashtanga yoga and things like that. And I wanted a sunscreen that wasn't necessarily something that I would wear under my makeup because I have primers with sunscreen and I have makeup with sunscreen in them. So I wanted something that would be good just for my activity days on days I don't wear makeup. I don't wear makeup every day. So I, and I like CeraVe. I like the ceramides in it. Um, so I got this one initially. Uh, this is the Hydrating Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 for face. Mineral sunscreen, because when I run, if I, if I don't wear a mineral sunscreen, the other sunscreens tend to, from sweating, I come home, it, it'll tend to peel. Like it makes my face dry and starts to peel. You guys, this stuff gave me a blue tilt to my face. And what I mean by blue tilt is if you ever use like a fuchsia lipstick that has like a blue tilt to it, like it literally made my undertone blue and you couldn't rub this in. It was horrible and it burned my eyes. So I'm a returner. Like if something doesn't work for me and the product doesn't work, I'm gonna return it. Like I learned my lesson years ago, like something doesn't work, just return it. I didn't return this and I don't know why. I think it was like $12 or $13. I don't know why. So I, there's a lot of reviews on this that also have had similar experiences. So I'm just gonna use this, I think, for like when I really need a lot of sunscreen um, and I don't really care who sees me like looking like a snowman because this will make you look like a snowman and there is no way to rub it in. So maybe I'll use this on my daughter's face for when we go to the beach or like when I do run a larger mar like a marathon or something like that um, where I need a lot of protection and really looking like a snowman is not a care. However, I did read and I saw a lot of reviews that the CeraVe Hydrating Minimal Sunscreen Broad Spectrum 30 sheer tint so the same brand only in 30 but it has a skin tone tint worked wonderful it blends into your skin seamlessly as a lightweight non-greasy feel suitable for sensitive skin i actually tried this yesterday just so we can open it and this isn't going to work for all skin tones per it, it's just not like it, it will work if you wear it under your makeup but if you're just going to go out and about it's not for me it did i have um i would say light olive skin uh I have a lot of like melons in my skin and an olivey tone and it worked for me but if you have really 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 light skin it's not going to work for you if you have any like darker skin than me, like medium olive skin, or um, this probably would work for medium olive skin, but like dark olive skin and beyond, mm, you're probably gonna have to wear this under your makeup. So that's the color of it. It looks like it's kind of dark, like a putty, but when you shear it out, it probably is more like a um, lighter putty makeup. So like you can see, like I'm not that dark, you know, but it shears, it shears out and it's, it didn't cover like sunspots or anything like that, but it, it did kind of fade them a little. Again, this isn't a makeup, it's a sheer tint sunscreen. I loved this stuff. It even, I would say it even sort of blurred pores, but again, this is just sunscreen. What I noticed today though, I wore this and I did a pretty rigorous Ashtanga yoga class last night. Um, and I did it on my porch where the sun was beating. 
And now uh, I don't get blemishes. I don't get that stuff anymore. I, in my thirties, I had a lot of hormonal ac uh, acne. I didn't even know what it was at that time. I was like a working maniac. I didn't have time to take care of myself or give a care about stuff like that. Now I know what it was. But now I don't get that stuff. I'm way past that stage in my life. So when I have the like skin concerns or breakouts or whatever, I know they're from a product. I'm going to get close. It's not going to be pretty. Probably, I don't even know if you're going to see it, but these little like dimples or skin irritations popped up. I know it was because I used this from exercising I believe and sweating now it may be an unfair assessment because I haven't used it long enough but the jury's still out so this may be something that I can wear and enjoy but maybe not exercise in so we'll see but I I do recommend this um, if you have skin irritations or concerns maybe not exercise in it you're gonna have to kind of like experiment with it like I am but like let's see so see right here and here 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 we go in this area now I have makeup on and if I took it off you wouldn't see like white heads you would see exactly that those weren't there prior to putting this on and then wearing it through the day and exercising. So it's unfair for me maybe to blame it on this. Um, there was some, I think the good outweighs the bad. So I am gonna continue to use this and I'm gonna experiment with exercise, no exercise with it. Um, but that's about it guys, that was everything. And if you're really into some cute headbands, I know Amazon's got some, but. I just headed down to my local Walmart and they had some really cute headbands. They had a whole bunch. Hopefully this helped. This was kind of like a, a mommy and me impromptu uh, video. And I don't even know what today is. What's today? Thursday. Okay. Have a happy Thursday. Whether this will be up on a Thursday or not, I don't know. But we're all just hanging in there. All right. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.